Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 15th of 2021. Well, it is titled NGC 289 swirl in the southern sky. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a spiral galaxy known by its catalog designation of NGC 289. And a spiral galaxy, a galaxy much like our own Milky Way, except this one we get to see from outside instead of within. So when we see our Milky Way galaxy stretching across the sky, we're seeing this, but from a different perspective. We're seeing it from inside, which of course gives us a quite different view than we would get from looking down on it. Now spiral galaxies do have a central core and the arms will tend to swirl out from that core and you can see how they swirl around the galaxy here. You'll note a color change as you go from the inner regions which have a mixture of young and old stars and have a yellowish to even slightly red tinge to the outer regions where the spiral arms are very blue. So the very blue spiral, uh, very blue spiral arms are signs of more recent star formation. And those are very young stars that don't live for a very long time. So we know that they had to have formed recently. And we can see lots of clusters of those stars, not the individual stars themselves, but actually groupings of those stars, because at the distance of this, uh, as we see about 70 million light years away, we would not be able to easily resolve individual stars within this. So the, in, the other stars that you're seeing around here, in some cases, are other galaxies and you can see some that are extended um, within this that actually look a little fuzzy and would be galaxies. Others can actually be stars but are stars within our own Milky Way galaxy that just happen to be in the same direction. Now when we see this in the lower right portion of this we do see another elliptical galaxy that is interacting with the other with the other. So it's much smaller galaxy and as galaxies interact they eventually will combine together in many cases. So the interactions can distort galaxies uh, by their tidal forces and in many cases a larger galaxy like the spiral one we look at can eventually consume a smaller elliptical galaxy and bring it into itself just making it part of a somewhat larger galaxy. In this case it won't make a very big difference because you can see there's a large difference in size already. So the spiral galaxy will pick up the elliptical and merge its stars into its own over hundreds of millions of years and not really notice the difference. When we look at it from much larger galaxies we can get bigger interactions occurring and sometimes great changes in the structures of the galaxies themselves. So that was our picture of the day for October 15th of 2021. It was titled NGC 289 swirl in the southern sky. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.